So he takes his pain to God. He takes his pain to God. He takes his pain to God. He didn't take it to a bottle. He didn't take it to a pill. He didn't take it to an ex. He didn't take it to another person. He didn't take it to a website. He didn't take it to a club. He didn't take it to a bar. He went straight to God. He went straight to the source. The only one that could actually do something about it. And he pours himself out to God. God already knows every thought that you have. He knows every doubt that you have. There's so many of us that, that don't want to get real with God. Like he's afraid of our doubts. Like he's afraid of our problems. Like he's afraid of what we're going to ask him because we're dealing with something and we're struggling with something, but we don't want to bring it to him because apparently we think we can hide it from someone who is completely out of time and that created us and the only one that could do anything about it but we want to keep trying to put it in our own hands and holding it in our own thoughts and keeping it in our own hearts and instead of following God and releasing it to him we just want to hold on to it there now you got to go back and watch that to understand what I just said <laughs> he takes it to God and God doesn't God doesn't give him a gentle answer first God tells him if you can't handle these easy times you're probably not going to survive the harder times Woo! apparently when it's bad it can get worse and if you think it's bad and that's going to crush you you're not going to survive what's going to come further down the line have you ever thought oh this is really bad and then it got even worse and you find yourself looking towards the past longing for the days where it just seemed a little bit easier Anybody remember being a kid and you're like, I cannot wait to get older. I can't wait to have my, I can't wait to get out of the house and I don't got to follow what you're saying and I can do what I want. And then you got there and you're like, oh wait, I can't do what I want because now all I can do is go to work and come home and try to pay bills and go to work and come home and try to pay bills. And now I got this backache. Nobody ever told me that there was a backache when you got older and it doesn't matter how much you sit on the heating pad or the massaging pad, that thing ain't going away. And it was it looked so much better back then when there wasn't this pressure on me now and it is the pressure that either makes us or breaks us and we think of pressure as a problem we think pressure pushing down on me pressing down on you no man asked for under pressure that brings a building down splits a family in two and puts people on streets y'all acting like you don't know queen and we feel the effects of the pressure. We feel the bumps and the bruises. And instead, <laughs> oh, oh, my ADD head. No, that wasn't a preach. <laughs> I say, y'all want to act like you don't know Queen, but you'd rather be fat bottom girls instead of under pressure. <laughs> we feel the effects of pressure. We feel the bumps and the bruises, right? And, and instead of uh, considering that, that pressure can be a blessing, we look at it like it's a bird.